Okay, well there's the Magnum S9. It's all set up now, all back in one piece. I've connected it up to the Revex meter there with a the dummy load, so we'll do a quick test in a second and see how much power this radio will now produce now the set of MOSFETs has been replaced. Here are the three devices I've taken out. That one there was the driver, ERF2030, and here we have the two finals. Both ERF2030s, which incidentally have been replaced before. And I could tell by the workmanship there around the output stage that these have obviously been replaced before. So let's have a look and see what our S9 is now going to do. We're on FM mode, the frequency there of course is uh, 27.555. The output power is adjusted for maximum. A Revex meter here, we'll put that down on the 2 watt power scale. Let's have a look see what we've got. Uh, of course, straight off the end of the scale. Now, let's have a look. 20 watts off the end of the scale. Okay. Right. Well, it looks like we have about 35 watts on FM of output power there. We'll go over to AM mode. Let's have a look now. Okay, on the meter, 25 watts carrier, 40 watts of swing. We'll go over to uh, USB, audio, 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 audio. And there you can clearly see we have 45 watts of PEP output. Audio, audio, straight off the end on the 20 watt scale. So there we are, there's the Magnum S9 back up and running using two, three IRF520Ns. The two finals had blown, there was nothing wrong with the driver, but as I was going to replace the finals with IRF520Ns, I thought it would be a good idea to replace the driver as well, so we have a full set of the same devices. There we go. Radio back in operational condition.